getting married. No, Janine! No, wait! No chat. I don't want to know! Why? Because you're scared of what I've got to say. I'm not scared of anything. Then please just hear me out, all right? Five minutes. You're so sure of yourself. You're so sure that you're doing the right thing. Please, please, just listen to what I've got to say. Look, they found my stuff here. They can place me at the scene, all right? That detective, Banks, he wants my blood. He actually thinks that I did this. And? And I didn't. I didn't kill Laura. You know I didn't. You have to tell the police. I don't have to do anything. They're going to charge me with murder. They're testing for my DNA, but you are my only hope. I am not going to tell the police anything. So you'd lie to them? You'd have me banged up for something that I did not do. Well, it would sort of square things, wouldn't it? Pat, I'm innocent. I didn't do this. What about Barry? Barry has got nothing to do with this. He's got everything to do with it. You admitted it to Nat. You admitted it to me. In fact, you stood in front of me scoffing, proud of what you've done. You killed him, Janine, and now you are going to pay. Tell the truth. And watch you walk away scot-free. The house, the money, swanning about, airs and graces. No, I don't think so. That's what this is about, isn't it? You resent me for what I've got. You're bitter. Stuck here, me over there in that house. Don't be ridiculous. No, that's it. That's it, I can see it. OK, fine. Maybe I was unfair. And that was your house. You were married to Roy, you can have it. You're trying to bribe me, Janine. I'm trying to make amends, Pat. I've hurt you, right? I, I can see that now. I pushed Barry into being tough on you. The house is more yours than it is mine, anyway. I don't care about the house or the money. What I care about is you killing another... No, murdering another human being and getting away with it. So you're just going to lie? Are you going to lie to the police? Are you going to lie to the courts? Do you really think that you can carry that through? Do you? Standing up in court, your hand on a Bible, lying your face off. Whatever it takes. Why? Because I'm... because I'm so out of control. Because I'm a bad person. That's right. And who made me like this? I mean, do you think I did it all by myself? You've had it no worse than anybody else. Oh, no. No, of course I haven't. Mum dying of cancer in some stinking hospital. My dad running off and leaving me with you. Don't you dare lay this at my door. I was not your mother. I just stepped in because... because Juna died. And it didn't take you long, did it? My mum was barely in the ground and you were flat on your back for Dad. And then there's Roy, driven to his death by you. Yeah, you're some great role model, Pat, aren't you? You're so fit to judge. Whatever I did, I did because of love, because I was crazy in love with your dad. <laughs> it wasn't for money, and it certainly wasn't cruel. Cruelty doesn't come out of thin air, Pat. Cruelty comes out of neglect. Yeah, OK. So, uh, I've done some bad things. But I'm not this evil person. I'm just me. I'm just Janine, that little girl that you used to put to bed every night. That little girl that, that you used to cuddle because I was so scared that you were going to walk out that door and leave me. I haven't changed. I'm still living in the same house that we did then. You, me, Dad, Ricky. All of us around that breakfast table. Dad with a fry up and some big plan. You telling Ricky off for something. Sonia coming around to pick me up. That was the last time I was ever really happy. 
That was the last time before my dad just left. Okay. You've had it hard, we all have. But look at Sonia. She didn't even know her dad. A family shot to pieces. She ain't out there killing people. She's a nurse trying to make something of her life. You see, it's, it's not about what happens to you. It's about who you are. And who am I? Frank Butcher's daughter, nine years old and abandoned. I was 52. He left me without a penny to my name, with kids that weren't even mine. He broke my heart and all. Exactly. See, we were in it together. But you, you were a grown-up, Pat. You could cope. I was just a little girl. You don't know what it was like for me. I used to sneak out and stand by that front gate just waiting for him to come home. Waiting for hours sometimes. Once, I scratched my name in the brick wall. Just sitting, waiting. Scratching away until my fingernails were chipped and my hands were bleeding, just wishing that my dad would come home. But he never came. And I suppose you blame me for all this. No, I don't blame you. I don't blame anyone. I can see now. I can understand that sometimes people, they just flip. They can't cope. They, they lose it. Dad was weak. He ran away. Maybe I'm a bit like him. Maybe that's what happened to me. Up on that cliff. Barry all over me. All those years stretching ahead, maybe I just panicked. I shouldn't have. I know that I shouldn't have. To tell you the truth, Pat, all I did was just push him away from me. That is all. From things I said to you last week. I just wanted to hurt you. I feel so alone. I've got no one. My dad's gone. Claire, Diane. Ricky. My own brother, he won't even speak to me. You hate me. I've got no one. Very good, Janine. Do you know that was Oscar winning? You got your speech ready? I mean it. Pat, I mean every word that I'm saying. I'm not some axe wielding maniac. I'm just a little girl who doesn't know any better than to hit out. Hurt other people before they hurt me. Exactly. And that's what makes you dangerous, why you've got to be stopped. And you think you're the one to do it? I'm the only one who can. Do you really think you can see that through? I can do it. Because I don't think you can, Pat. Because you know in your heart that oh, this is wrong. Oh, you want to do the right thing, OK? I understand that. But this isn't it. Look, I've learned my lesson. You have taught me my lesson. But you have got to come clean. Go to the police and tell the truth. This is your chance to do something right for a change. You can do it. You know you can. I don't think so. But you have to. No, Janine, I don't have to do anything. I can't save you. But I can make sure that you don't hurt anybody else. Oh, yes, I've listened. And I haven't believed a word of it. You were going to face the music, Janine. I'll make sure of that. And no one, no one is going to help you. <laughs> 